trying to pick a little bit more for the late game, but that is a very weak 2v2 lane coming in from KT, Ezreal, and the Alistair. Take these trades too aggressively against Smep, the best top player in the world. This is what happens. Oh, trying to bait that, him in. This is exactly what happens. No flash. He's dead. He gets him, Smep, with the first blood. Someday thought he could delay long enough. Over with, here. Whoa, here he comes over the wall. And Smep could be in trouble. Drops a GPL right away. Someday getting low immediately. Fly, waiting. Light is that voice of light. There it is. Tries to get the kill. Oh, they end up trading, though. One on each side. Someday trying to flee. Pete and Kuro got there just in time. Someday trying to get away. Not sure if he can make it, though. Yeah, score. Not getting there for the Unburrow, but score does find Talia from behind. Kuro goes down. They do find the kill on the someday, so it ends in there. That's when they were going to look to maybe go for it. But oh, caught up. caught up a little bit. Fly takes a lot of damage from the Talia. Now the GPO comes down. Oh, Voice of Light pushes him back, but it's not enough. Another kill comes in for the Rocks Tigers. Someday looking to get a bit of revenge onto Smeb's gangplank, but Smeb avoiding bouncing around those barrels and here comes with the chase but how far do they want to go Hachani separated from the herd they might be able to pick him off meanwhile Smeb and someday tangling near the mid lane Hachani way behind enemy lines trying to go for the execute maybe he's dodging the abilities oh, oh the W in the end for Kuro sets one up for Smeb and they do get a kill out of it in the end this game. Fair enough. bit of a lull in the action here did I say all the action? Ash Hero comes in, fly, bounced back by Kuro. Beautiful gank by Rox Tigers. I had to say it, didn't I? There goes the mid lane turret. Rox Tigers just like that. Puts the pet uh, Elise or the Echo, whoever you want to use the Trundle ult on. And now that they're in this position, it's very unlikely. Ash Hero comes through, they nail fly again. Gets hit with the W, another easy kill. Achani. And Achani comes in, tries to turn things around for KT, but no such luck just yet. Gorilla stopped up with that parallel convergence someday. Somehow ends up in the back lines. Achani slowed up. He not trying to whack away at him. There's another kill for Kuro. Arrow tries to get one with the Mystic shot, but barely can't finish Peanut off. And now the Rock Tigers backing away. Looks like they may have surrounded someday. Ray coming down, gets the slow. Need to be careful around that Echo. Ah, but great pillar from Gorilla. And another one comes in for the Tigers. Yeah, if you're a KT fan, you'll get, they'll get the NAR. Engage on the Pina. They try to make a play here. They land the Cocoon, but there's no follow-up. Kuro comes in with that Weaver's Wall. No flash. Horses score to try to repel away. Someday on the side here, Rock Slayer's just waiting. They finally find score. Easy kill there. And now KT can't turn it around. Someday gets knocked up by the Peanut yet again. Whoa, Whoa another catch. Another kill for the Rocks Tigers. Kuro has been really beautiful with that W. Rocks Tigers should be able to claim this one. KT going to try to stop him. They have to do something. It's desperation time, but that Baron goes down so fast. Easy take for the Rocks Tigers. And they've got the fight. Peanut over the wall with the knockup on that Rek'Sai. Fly on the run. Got exhausted. Had to burn his flash. Someday mixing it up, but he's going to mix it up in the afterlife as he goes down. Arrow having to back away. Only the two squishy carries. All right, going to try to flash Not away. Not enough. Man, Gorilla. Gorilla's had a bit of a rough season, but he's on fire this game anyway. Score gets very low. Another kill for Peanut. Peanut's in the enemy base right now. Yeah, yeah you probably want to tunnel out of there, buddy. Flashed in, tunneled out. Why not? Someday getting the back lines. 1v4. Has to back away. Obviously not a fight that he can take. He's going to just uh, ult right back up to the top lane. Yeah, it's going to be pushing in here, the rock Rockstars. The double displacement. It's the first time we've seen it. Oh, arrow, arrowed. And that is, well, where'd he go? He just, he just vanished. Rock Tigers looking to maybe close this one out right here. You don't normally think of this Rock Stomp as a pick comp, but just the Ash Arrow and the Talia is deletion yeah. damage. They're so far ahead. This could be the game. I think this is almost certainly the game. We'll see if the KT Rollster players can put up any sort of defense, but there goes the first Nexus turret. Second one getting focused down by the Rock Tigers as well. Burrow a bit on the low side, but when they pop flying, when you can get kills like that, how in the world can KT fight this? Another one goes down to Smeb. Score can't do much to stop this one. Turns it around for a little bit of damage, but he's going to die as well. There goes the Nexus, and what a statement early on from Rock Tigers. They are saying second place no more as they crush KT Rolster in game one. GG.
Now for KT, they did come back from a devastating defeat in the semifinal game two. They lost in 25 minutes to SK Telecom, and they bounced back and made the reverse sweep. So we'll see if they're mentally resilient. But I think they've got to address some issues in the draft, and I think the the point in the